let's move on to main topic number two. And our second main topic today gets passed on to us from Gabriella, who writes, Hey, John and gang, the New York Times published an article talking about a Furiosa movie directed by George Miller. They mention in the article that Miller has already started casting and has been given the go-ahead to proceed with the film. What are your thoughts? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in. Now, it should be pointed out here, he is developing it. From everything that I understand, an official final green light has not been given at this point, but he has been given development money and he is trying to put this thing together. One of the most interesting things, though, about this Furiosa spinoff is that it is going to be a prequel and they're not going to de-age Charlize Theron. They're going to get a different actress to play Furiosa instead of Charlize, which I think is going to make a lot of people gasp. This comes to us from the folks over at People Magazine who writes, Charlize Theron will not be reprising her role as Imperator Furiosa in the upcoming Mad Max prequel film. Miller is looking to cast the role of a young Furiosa with an actress in her 20s, the Times reported. For the longest time, I thought we could just use uh, CG de-aged on Charlize, but I don't think that we're nearly there yet, Miller said. Despite valiant attempts on the Irishman, I think there's still an uncanny valley. So that comes to us from George Miller. So there's a couple of things to talk about here. First thing is, George Miller's finally moving forward with another movie in the Mad, Wa- in the Mad Max world. This one's going to be Furiosa. Again, I'm not. I, uh, it's hard for me to get the water boiling over a prequel idea. I still wish they would just move forward, but whatever. I think a lot of people are just going to be happy that there's more movies in the Mad Max world coming from the mind of George Miller. The other one that I think is going to raise the eyebrows of a lot of people, though, here is this Charlize Theron situation, because I don't think people, most people wanting and looking forward to a Furiosa, they, most people probably had in their heads that it would be Charlize coming back to reprise the role. And why not? She was fantastic in the first, and she's one of the world's greatest actresses. But if George Miller does indeed want this character, if the story he's got in his mind is this character in her early to mid-20s, well, then you kind of have to recast the role. And, and by the way, you know, let it, let's not forget this, Rob, that in the legends of Hollywood hallways, there was a lot of drama that went on on the set of that last Mad Max film. It, oh, not, yeah. the, not the least of which was drama specifically between Tom Hardy and Charlie Theron. There's a lot of reports that the two of them just did not like each other at all. Now, they've said things since then that, oh, no, 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 we've put all that behind us and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if Charlie Theron was ever going. I don't know if the drama extended beyond that. And honestly, this show isn't TMZ, so I'm not really here to speculate that. But the point is, I was never really sure if she wanted to come back to do another one anyway. You know, when you look at it from that point of view. But Rob, to you, what's the bigger story right here that George Miller is indeed moving forward and starting to develop a Furiosa movie or is the bigger story that a Furiosa movie is being developed, but it won't have Theron coming back to play in the role. What do you think about this whole thing? Well, you know, first of all, Killing Eve, Jodie Comer, uh, she's an amazing performer. I love her. And I think that, yeah, I, I, I mean, Charlie Theron is in her 40s. And these these movies are obviously taxing. Um, I I just love the fact that George Miller's making another movie. You know, he is an incredible filmmaker that not just the Mad Max films, but movies like Lorenzo's Oil, and that I love that know, movie. He, produ- he produced Happy Happy Feet, but he's a man who we've not had enough movies from. So the idea that he's directing again that alone excites me. And if, if it's a Furiosa prequel, bring it on. I mean, the way that uh, Fury Road is a – I'm a huge Mad Max fan, but Fury Road was – even if you've never seen another Mad Max movie or you didn't grow up with a Road Warrior, that movie was insane, and I loved it so much. And they did so much interesting development, the way they developed the world and the the language, the the the, the – slang that everyone spoke and the doof warrior the 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 guitar playing fire spewing i mean <laughs> i i love that so much I, I i just want him to make another movie so i don't care who's in it i really don't care i just want to see george miller behind the camera again i want to sit in the dome again and watch a movie like that with or without Charlize theron in the role so it's gonna be interesting to see how that comes guys the question is 
what do you see as the bigger issue here that, oh my God, yay, George Miller is finally getting the wheels going up. Just temper that a little bit, knowing that, it, that we haven't gotten the final green light on it, but that he is working on making this movie come to life. Or is that tempered a little bit by the fact that you know it's not going to be Charlotte Theron? How do you feel about that? Jump down into the comments section below, guys, and let us know your thoughts.